Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Spring Boot. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn some more interesting program or functionality about Spring Boot. So let's start. If you remember the previous session, we have created a list of attributes or the list of components as a response using the business service. So it's very simple so let's say so if I just pass localhost 8080 and then states it is going to print what are the states available in the response I can see the state NY state California or state Goa etc let me show you some interesting thing if I just use the forward slash and use US NY oh it's interesting it is just printing one element if I just get rid of that and print, it shows me all the components. So what I'm doing, I'm just using the ID values, US and Y. Let me try with I and a G A as an ID. And let's see what happened. I N G A. It is interesting, right? Is it printing Goa related attribute? Suppose if I use US and Y. It is printing the US related, New York related attribute. Let me type with the small case. It is also printing, it is converting at uppercase and printing. So it's interesting, right? So how this is happening, how how it is, how we have achieved this. So this is what we are going to learn. So I'm just passing one ID. So you can see the ID attribute. If we are passing here ID attribute and we'll get the, the corresponding additional information. So how can we achieve this? It's very simple, very easy. So we are going to have the demo on that. The first of all, we need to have a business implementation for that, right? So let's go ahead and create some business implementation using the business service. So we already write the business service. We'll create one list element. For example, let's create here list of countries I'll say li countries you can give any name there is no restriction or what I'll do I'll just use the existing countries that will be too that that is also doable right so I'm just using this country I'll just add another country for for our reference suppose I'm using Uru as a country, so let's add Uru as a country, and suppose I'm adding Lima as a state code. Okay, and let's add name as uh, Uru. That's simple, right? So instead of in order to distinguish, I'll just add suppose PU. Or P whatever and here I will add three letters so IND or let me add three letters that will be more useful to understand or IND let's say zero one US zero one and Lima or let me add P P U zero one so these are kind of act will act as IDs for us. Okay, so this is just for simplicity I added those values. You can use any other attributes. So my list country list is ready. Now what we're going to do, we are going to write one business method. How to write? It's very simple. You have to just create one public method, public return time we are going to return a single country so it should be a single country instead of a list of countries then you have to write method gate country you can name anything there is no restriction and you can pass a string id you can pass any other you can give to any variable any other variable name too there is no restriction then we are going to use one of the new functionality about java that is nothing but the umlaut so let's see it's 
in order to use the uh, only one ID we are going to use the list of country then use the stream function so it will return the stream of that list and on top of that list we are going to filter that stream okay how to filter you have to use any variable there is no restriction but on that variable you have to call the gate ID one second so filter try this with like this okay let me do this thing let's try t dot t dot get country id so the, from where this coming so if you see the classes if you let's see the classes the state has three fields right state state description and id if it's just id you are using id will be used but for the country if you see here the country id country name and country description and that is the reason if you use any single variable okay so if you use any single variable in the business class for example t dot t is acting as a reference to this country class and all the variable available in that country can be accessed so country id we are going to access once country id is available we are going to compare that country id with the input id input means what are the user going to pass here and once we are got that what we'll do we'll fail or we'll find the first element the first very very first element like okay and we'll got get so it will get us the, all the information and it will return here so this is very simple it's very sophisticated way of implementing you can do the iterate you can do you can iterate over this list and get we can fetch that one element also that also doable this is a, a better way of doing the same code in a single line rather than iterating and writing multiple lines of code so we we wrote this class or we wrote this method get country by by if you pass the country id will get the given country okay so this method is ready but how to use this method okay someone needs to call and that we have to call from the controller so in order to call the controller of course you can call from any other method but we will write the a separate method it's called public country get country and here we will just say okay I'm passing ID okay you can pass that and just return customer service that is our business service dot get country and this we have to pass ID you can use any other value also there is no restriction okay you can instead of id you can mention country or rest country it doesn't matter okay so this is con control method is ready but as we know we need to provide url mapping without url mapping this will not be get called so in order to do that just do the request mapping okay if i pass states it will return me all the states okay because states is a multiple thing so it can return me multiple but i'm not going to call the state rather i'm going to call the country so you can call the countries but if you just say because if you see in our country in the business service we have the multiple countries okay if i pass ind you can pass there definitely and it will be return me just india as a country if i pass usa it will pass me just it will give me return as a result united states but i don't want to hard code this right because if you hard code this value it will give us the specific that element and will not have the runtime uh, changing result 
how can we achieve that in order to achieve that you can use a id or any other column if you are using the same variable as like one which you are passing like id in id that is you are good but if you are suppose passing here different value we'll see how can you achieve that okay so let me pass here uh, this id as a runtime argument but if you want to pass that runtime argument as an input to this method we have to tell this method use this runtime value as an input value or argument or input argument in order to tell the tell that we have to use another annotation called as a path variable so this is a path we know that and this is the variable we are getting use this variable and pass here that is what we are telling this system okay so that is pretty much the code we have but if these values are different like suppose you are passing id as a variable here and uh, suppose here i'm passing country country then you have to copy here and after path variable you have to just use this as a country so the country from the path variable will be picked and passed to the method with this associated id as a id so this is very simple right let me revert this code and make this id and simple okay so my program will start it will call the controller controller will see this url mapping if the user has provided this mapping it will call this method get country and it will pass this variable as an input value using the path variable and then internally it call the customer service customer service actually doing the operation of getting the country by using the id and it is doing logic to retrieve that information and that information will be returned to the controller and controller will return the result on the browser or whoever is calling that uh, method so let's execute and see what the results but before doing that i'll stop my existing application and let's go ahead and start it again so it will start in quickly few minutes meanwhile we'll go to the browser it is started now let's quickly check the old version so yes i'm able to call this let's try with the just countries because we already wrote the countries as a name and i can see multiple countries i can see and here i'm going to use the country id so if you see ind01 is one of the country id us usa01 is another uh, country id and we have the pu01 as a, another country id i'm going to pass ind01 and let's see what result i'm getting oh i'm getting the india related information like country name as india country description as india etc let's try with usa0 and i can get the usa information that is united state let's try with pu0 and i get the peru related information so by this way you can achieve the runtime execution and you can get the information not only just um specific attribute but you can get the all the information at the run time i hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand how to achieve a dyna dynamic approach or how can you get a single attribute among from the list of attribute um if you have any questions or queries you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you again for watching my video If you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you have a nice time